the next time And I really ain't shit if it ain't mine I'm a beast, I'm a dog, I'm a canine See the way I'm making go down like a baseline Yeah, back when I was just a young and didn't have me nothing Always up to What's up guys, the Stash is Tutorials on YouTube here Bringing you another Cole Bennett Lyrical Lemonade Tutorial But in Vegas Now I'm gonna do the wave effect, the wave background effect he did in his newest video with Carnage, Mac Miller, and Made of Tokyo, where Mac Miller was in the foreground, and in the background, it was waving. It was pretty trippy, man. I had to say it. Pretty trippy. But I'll teach you how to do that today in Vegas. Now, uh, you can use this in, oh, here, it's like good to say that you can do it in any Vegas. I'm using Vegas 15, but it's just good for you to know in any Vegas. All right. Now, let's go with your clip. So, if you're making your own music video or whatever you want to do the effect in, you want to have the shot, you want to have your subject not moving that much, like Mac Miller is here, except his mouth. And you want to have the camera not moving as well. See, the camera is just panning out, but you don't see any like movements in the camera. And that's just because we're going to want to mask it out and have it look clean as possible. And you're just going to have a really hard time if the camera's moving. You're going to have to mask out every frame. And it's just going to be it's just going to be a burden to you. You can see even in Cole Bennett's video, um, he deliberately did this. He made him not move. And you could tell he got tired of masking. Because in one of the shots, the mask was all the way out here. And it was just, it looked wonky. Like this was wavy. But like it was just a whole silhouette behind him. It was pretty funny. Anywho. All right. So, I'm going to use this clip of Mac Miller in Cole Bennett's video because, like I said, he shot it for this purpose and it's just a good video to use. Um, the camera's not moving and he's not moving, so. Alright, so I have my clip here, right? Blah, blah, blah. All good. Uh, all good. So, it's in the timeline here. What you want to do first is right-click next to it and duplicate the track. Now, it'll make two of them. Now, what we want to do with the top track is click this little event bank crop. Now, once this event pan crop comes, you want to click mask. Now, to mask it, um, I'm pretty sure you guys would know how to mask, but you just click this little drawing tool, ink your creation tool, and then you want to click on the first frame. Also, side note, have this check marked, so whenever you do this, um, it'll move with the, it'll move with this one. So I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna mask out Mac Miller. All right. Oh no. That's why it's, ugh, Vegas is like creation tool is so whack. I can hardly use it. Okay. Boom. Boom. Now I'm kind of doing this really crude just to save time and because I'm lazy. But I'll show you if you guys want to do it crude too. Um, you can do something about that and it'll still look kind of pretty decently. So we'll just do all crudeness, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. All right, now we're gonna go a couple frames and then we're gonna keep an eye on our mask and see his body and see when we have to move it. So when there's a Jurassic change like this, like see his whole leg is not even masked out yet. We're gonna just wanna click this tool, click out of that on the side and just move some keyframes around. Like here, maybe right there, right there. Maybe make a new one, and then move the new one, like, right about there, move it out of the shoulder, and you just want to have this clean as possible. If you're making your own music video, I suggest going frame by frame and then just doing it um, if you have that time, but then again, who really wants to do that, am I right? Alright, so, just crude, crudely going, see now I have to really move it because it's kind of a drastic change. Move that there, move that there, that there, okay. One, two, now it's like a drastic change, now it's got stuff I don't even want selected, and his legs not selected anymore. That there, move that, that there, okay, okay, boom, boom. Wait, his head's not even, all right, his, head, his head's in it, but it's all, huge okay boom okay and then we're done all right so now you have your mask right 
and then it looks the same your way what where's the waves right where's the trippiness all right so you want to go to your video effects right your video effects thing and you're going to want to type in wave so just type in wave click enter and it depends depending if you have plugins or not um you might just have this or if you have sapphire you have warp waves or if you have bcc you have bcc wave uh i would recommend bcc wave but not everyone has plugins and i can't really tell you how to get bcc wave um just due to legality reasons but if you do have it then i recommend using that if you don't then use just a regular wave and this you want to use the what i found best was horizontal only and it'll give it'll, it'll give it like the best or the closest look in my opinion to his so click that and drag it there and then that pretty much already looks kind of like his right the thing is it doesn't move as fast and that's that's the problem with this i don't know i don't know what what i yeah i don't, I don't know it just looks different and i can't if i move the waves up all the way they become smaller but they don't move as fast and that kind of sucks with with the vegas waves because you can't really change the speed let's say wait hold on. you can't really change the speed and you, you know i've tried like this phase and it's just it's just not working but that's basically it right i guess that kind of looks that kind of looks like it and see you can kind of see oh wait i didn't even show you guys some my bad go all the way back so go back to your vent pan crop so you see this right here you see how gross this is it's because i didn't mask out his head but to combat that you need to go to every keyframe and then right here on feather type click both and then change it to either one to two 1.5 is what i've been using and it seems to be decently so 1.5 click this keyframe both 1.5 Click this keyframe. Oh, make sure you click the mask. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm like messing up everything. Okay, so if that didn't work, so if you click the keyframe and like it didn't select it, make sure you click on this and all the keyframes pop up. So both 1.5, okay. Both 1.5, both. 1.5 then you hate your life because you do this all day every day 1.5 all right oh, and this one's gross too i'll fix that up a little bit okay and then now take a look so now it's way better you can kind of see how it's not very sharp and not noticeable unless you very unless you look at it um but then again if you don't want it that noticeable then keyframe his whole head perfectly but i don't want to do that i want to just feather it so make sure you guys have your feather on your keyframe on your masks because it'll make your video look 20 times better um the effect that we wave horizontal only mess with the effects um if you have bcc i recommend using that and do if you even have sapphire i recommend using that it's just the the this the vegas wave is just horrid horrid I mean, even that looks kind of cool. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Leave a like and comment uh, if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you, if you didn't like the video. Um, I don't really care if you subscribe or not. Just comment what you want to see next. And if you want to see my other tutorials, click the playlist that popped up on your screen right now. Or sometime right now. And those are my other tutorials. They're very informative, especially if you're making your own music video. And you only have Vegas and whatnot. And they're pretty informative, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Uh, peace out later.